A wave of drones and missiles recently lit up the skies over Israel, but what triggered this sudden escalation? In the heart of Damascus, Syria, a suspected Israeli strike targeted the Iranian consulate. This led to a swift and forceful reaction from Iran, launching over 300 projectiles towards Israel. The onslaught included a mix of drones and ballistic missiles, a display of power that was largely intercepted by Israel's robust defense systems. Meanwhile, the United States, although maintaining a stance of non-participation in offensive operations against Iran, played a crucial role in preventing further damage. U.S. forces in the region intercepted a significant number of Iranian missiles and drones acting as a shield against the expanding conflict. However, the situation remains on a knife's edge. The tensions between Israel and Iran, already strained by Israel's war on Hamas, have escalated dramatically. Israel's allies are urging de-escalation, while Israel's war cabinet is weighing its response. Iran, on the other hand, has vowed retaliation for the attack on its consulate, threatening further escalation if Israel responds. As the dust settles, we find ourselves in the midst of a rapidly escalating conflict, with both sides poised for potential further confrontation. Over 300 projectiles, including drones and ballistic missiles, targeted Israel. But did they cause significant damage? Picture this, the skies above Israel, filled with over 300 projectiles hurtling through the air, a chilling testament to escalating tensions in the region. This wasn't just an attack, it was a full-blown assault, a wave of drones and missiles launched in retaliation for a suspected Israeli strike on an Iranian consulate in Damascus, Syria. Now you might expect such an attack to wreak havoc, to leave the nation in ruins. But here's the twist. Most of these projectiles never touched the ground. You see, Israel's defense systems, they're a marvel intercepting the majority of these airborne threats, effectively shielding the nation from the brunt of the attack. The result? Minimal damage. No significant impact reported within Israel itself. The nation stood strong, weathering the storm with an air of resilience that's nothing short of commendable. So while the skies may have been filled with the ominous spectacle of incoming projectiles on the ground, Israel remained largely unscathed. Despite the massive onslaught, Israel remained largely unscathed thanks to its robust defense systems. In the aftermath of the attack, the situation remains volatile. What's next for Israel and Iran? As the dust settles, Iran's vow of retaliation adds fuel to the fire of this escalating conflict. The suspected Israeli strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus has stirred the hornet's nest, and Iran's response has been swift and fierce. Over 300 projectiles were launched towards Israel, a clear message of their intent. In the face of this, Israel's allies have called for de-escalation, a voice of reason in this storm of conflict. However, the question remains, will these calls be heeded, or will they be drowned out by the drums of war? The situation is further complicated by the United States' stand. They have emphatically stated they will not participate in offensive operations against Iran, a stance that highlights the complexity and sensitivity of the situation. Yet, the tensions continue. With both sides prepared for potential further conflict, the region remains a tinderbox. As the world watches with bated breath, the future of this conflict hangs in the balance, with the potential for further escalation looming large.